Please be seated. Good afternoon. We've been invited here today to witness and celebrate the union and marriage of Allison and Marcus. They are taking the first step of their new beginning, their new life together. The ability and desire for one human being to love another is perhaps the most precious and fulfilling gift that has been entrusted to us. It is an all-consuming task, a lifelong endeavor, the journey we've been preparing for our whole lives. To become more for the sake of the other. It is to look into the soul of your beloved and accept what you see. Loving is the ultimate commitment that challenges humans to become all what? that we want no, and we're meant to not be. Defile. She don't As want they join a video, she today, said. Allison and Marcus are announcing she to the world the that they're welcoming that challenge. Allison and Marcus would like to take a moment to thank all of you for being here and all of you that are on Zoom today. You have shared in some of their best and worst days. You are, in, you, are, you are an irreplaceable part of their yesterdays, their today, and all of their tomorrows. At this time, we'll take a moment to remember those who are not here with us, but are here in spirit. Gloria Samuel Tobin, Haywood Kirkman and Carla Pampeline Porter. Marcus and Allison have known from the first glance of acquaintance that this, that this covenant would be the manifestation of a long journey. With God's grace, mercy, and love for you both, he saw fit for the two of you to meet and bless your union. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, you have been making promises and agreements in an informal way. All those conversations that were held riding in a car, over a meal, or during long walks, all those sentences that began with, what if we're married, and continued with, I will and you will, those late nights that included someday and somehow and maybe, and all of those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows that you are about to make in a, are a way. And so, the symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying that to one another. You know all those things we promise and hope and dream. I meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another: acquaintance friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, and even teacher. You have learned much from one another in these last few years. Now, now each will have a few words to say to take you across the threshold of life. And things will never quite be the same for between you. For after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. And if I fell and scraped my knee, she'd have a band-aid and a tan to that room. That if I might be afraid, I would find comfort in her nurturing. A love that would melt this, the heart of this six foot five, 300 pound frame. There were seven billion people in this world that I'd only have eyes and a burning desire for her. And although I searched and I tried, I couldn't do it on my own. I needed God's help to mold me, prepare me, to heal me, to direct me in the path that he would have me to go. And not only did I find her, not only did I discover the love of my life, God brought you to me. 
preciously wrapped just for me. You, my dear, are the most delightful soul I've ever met in my entire life. And I adore you. You are pure joy. You literally light up the world wherever you are. Wherever you are, light is there, and wherever you are, love is there. And that's a train coming by right now. Destiny loves her dad and she's very protective. She's not a woman who freely opens up and extends affection, but the very first time she saw you, she opened her arms and walked towards you. And she hugged you. Right then it confirmed for me what I already knew. I didn't intend on you meeting my mother as soon as you did. I had no idea that she did as she does basketball game that Saturday morning. Meeting a man's mother is a special and a sacred event in a man's life. And I didn't want her to think that you were just anywhere because you didn't. My heart was excited about you. And I wanted your meeting her to reflect just how special you were to me. But God doesn't move how we move. Mama was at the game. After the game, we were leaving Cracker Barrel. She literally took you by the hand. And she said, you have the most beautiful smile. And again, right then, it confirmed what I already knew. And it told me that Mama likes you. I am charged by God to love you as Christ loved the church. And I willingly accept it. As I commit to you on this day, Allison, I'm committing to God to care for you, to love you, to protect you, to serve you, to guide you, to sacrifice for you, to value you, I cherish you, and I really like you. <laughs> you are my good thing. You are my real. I vow not to lean to my own understanding and loving you. And being your lifelong partner and husband, I vow to you and to God to earnestly seek him. His guidance, his strength, his wisdom, and his divine love in serving you as your husband. Showing up in our marriage in a way that he'll say, Job well done, thy good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. On our left hand, we have a wedding day tattoo. It is a sense and scramble for the breath of life. With each breath that I take, Allison, I vow to walk with you side by side. I vow to you that in the difficult moments, not to lose focus of the big picture, our love and our commitment, our covenant and that selfishness has no place. Love is patience and love is kind. I vow to build something beautiful in this life together with you. A life and a relationship and a marriage will be a blessing to us individually, as husband and wife, and to all those who come in contact with us, that our love is a good work in God's eyes. I vow to grow with you and to grow old with you. My eyes are for you, my heart is for you. My soul is connected to yours, and it's for you. Before God and those present, I commit to you, and to you only. I love you, Miss A.O.K. It is widely believed that precious metals hold energy. The more enduring the object, the more energy will be absorbed. At this time, I would like to invite the wedding party to pass the rings between one another and to warm the precious metal with your wishes, prayers, and blessings for Allison and Mark. As they do this, I will as they do this, I will ask that all present say a silent wish or a prayer for this couple, for their marriage and their future. Allison and Marcus, these rings now contain in their precious metal which is more precious and yet priceless, the love and support of your family and friends. Allison, will you repeat after me? Marcus, 
I give you this ring with all that I am. Marcus, I give you this ring with all that I am. And all that I ever will be. And all that I ever will be. Wear it and know that I love you. Mama, Mr. and Mrs. Owen, who I refer to affectionately as mom and dad. Mama, you brought me into this world and you gave me life. And even at 49, I still want to make you proud. I vow to you to show up in our marriage, loving Allison in a way that... Why, there'll be real good days, there'll be some bad times. I'll be standing right beside you, my sweet baby, with the love of mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. and as I give this ring and I place it on your sweet and lovely hand we will tell our kids they will tell their kids what mommy and daddy did on the day I married my angel oh my angel Marcus, will you repeat after me? Allison, I give you this ring with all that I am. I give you this ring with all that I am. And all that I ever will be. And all that I ever will be. Wear it and know that I love you. Wear it and know that I love you. Do you, Marcus, promise to love Allison and respect her, to share your life and your dreams, to build with her a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth? I do. Marcus, do you promise to be a companion to her in all her successes and failures, her happiness and sadness, to always give her unwavering support and above all else, the freedom to be herself? I do. Do you, Allison, promise to love Marcus and respect him, to share your life and your dreams, to build with him a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth? Allison, do you promise to be a companion to him in all his successes and failures, his happiness and sadness, to always give him your unwavering support, and above all else, the freedom to be himself? came here today to affirm your love for one another and formally acknowledge that with that which your hearts already knew that your lives are meant to be shared as one that you are stronger together than you are apart and that for all your days yet to come you wish to share together all life's joys and challenges committed to one another when you commence this wedding ceremony you stood before all assembled here as best friends. Never, no, 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 never, no, 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 no,